All right, guys, let's just jump into this. This is Tashar, and unfortunately, he's a scammer that picked up the phone when I called, and unfortunately, he allowed me onto his computer. Whoever the f are you, do not mess with us. As you guys know, once I'm on the scammer's computer, I'm going to delete files as quickly as I can. I'm also going to download them and see what information I can find. So there's information like personal information on the scammer. I find victim lists and I find things like photos and videos as well and evidence of their scams. So I'm just going to send an email. I wanted to let you know that there are those who are watching your call center. And who knows, maybe your information is on that victim list. I've got a 25,000 person list right now that the scammer is sending emails and doing phone calls to. And that information's got their name, address, phone number, and also even what scam maybe they've been a part of before. Also, sometimes when you're opening up the files, you'll run across some really interesting things like music projects they're working on, movies they've downloaded, or even a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship. We're really grateful for the opportunity because it gives us a chance to fight more scammers and help more victims out. We're celebrating Raid's three year anniversary. I'm gonna give you three reasons why you should try out the game. First, the graphics are freaking sick. Like literally the best mobile graphics on a game I've ever seen before. Secondly, they have over 600 champions to choose from. So if you have a specific style you wanna play, you'll probably find it. And then third, the content, it's endless. They're always adding and that's really important to gaming. If you're new to Raid, check out the link in the description below or scan the QR code and they're going to be giving you a package worth $40 that you can redeem right here. Now don't worry if you've already played before, all you need to do is use the promo code that we're going to give you and they've got a present for you too. While you check out Raid Shadow Legends, I'm going to go check out what we found on Tashar's computer. When I was on the scammer's computer, I think I was on his desktop maybe and I saw a resume. And when I went through it, it was really interesting, we'll go through the details, but a lot of these people that they're hiring have four-year degrees, they're very well spoken with English, and that's what the scammers are looking for. Someone who wants to make a good living that they can kind of trick to come in and work for them. And then those people have the skills to be able to steal from innocent folks. So they're looking for people that are highly qualified actually to bring in so that they can use them and make as much money as possible. It's crazy to me that, you know, really you gotta have a four-year degree to become a scammer nowadays. Thanks for calling me. Support the site, John. How am I help you today? Uh, yes, I have a text message. All right. About? Uh, my Amazon account. Is this not Amazon? Yes, this is Amazon. Can you like, uh, what about your account with Amazon? Can you read that for me? It says, on April 1st, Amazon was charged $344.21 for a black shark for unlocked phone order ID LMP2401342 GD. If not, please call for this order. Please cancel. So you want to cancel this order, right? Yeah. Okay. You now what is about that? Can you please confirm me your name? Monica. All right. And can you please help me out with your email, which is with Amazon? Yeah, it's Monica underscore uh -huh. Wilson. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I didn't say anything else. It's Monica underscore Wilson. And then it's Sigma uh -huh. Alpha Omega at Yahoo.com. All right. Give me a minute. I'm looking up your account right now and I will be back to you within a minute. Okay. Be okay. online. Okay. Thanks for staying on the line, Monica. Are you there with me? Yeah, I am. All right. I can see that you are calling us from Miami, Florida. Is that yeah, right? how did you know? I just looked up your account and I can see your address on each and everything. So that's not the concern right now. And you are telling me that you are not the one who made this charge, right? Yeah, I'm not. We are just going to help you complete your verification. And once we do that, we will cancel this order from our side, okay? Okay. And may I know one thing? Like, where do you use your Amazon account? At my house. Like, you use it on your phone, like on your phone or your laptop? On my cell phone? No, I don't. Why would I do that? I use it on my computer. You use it on your computer? Yeah. All right. So, can you go to it right now? Okay, now what? All right, it's a Windows computer, right? No, yeah, how did you know? How do you know the? You keep asking questions, but like. No, I'm just asking you. Like, <laughs> this is our job. Now, what you need to do, you need to press the Windows key and the letter R as in Roger, 
key at the same time like both the keys at the same time now what you need to type in here uh, you need to type in www dot now oh, can you please read it to me what have you typed in yeah anydex.com i yeah. hit enter and then now it says anywhere any place any decks can you see a download sign yeah i see that hit download okay now what do you see it says thank you for downloading in the bottom left it says any decks.exe all right open it up okay and on this file and it gives you a number can i get that Okay. Now you will get a request and a security warning as well from Amazon. So what you need to do, you need to tap on I trust the call. It will be a come down. Now we are just connected with you. Just give me a minute. Just one second. Yeah, take your time. Just be online, give me a minute, okay? So, like I said earlier in the video, when I get access to the scammer's computer, I do want to delete the files as quickly as possible. So I'm going to your desktop, I'm going to your documents, to your downloads, and then I'm going through the different drives to see what I can find as well. But I do want to download and secure the information so I make sure that I could find if there's a victim or someone that I could help out. One of the interesting things that I found with Tishar was I found photos and videos that we will go through. And this guy is trying to be like a hardcore criminal with like guns and stuff like that. We have Hamant, which we've got his resume here and email address to contact phone number. So he has an India plus nine one number. And then he has, I guess, like a text now number. That's a United States number. I find that kind of interesting. It says a BCom, I guess a bachelor's in communications or something from the University of KOTA and then an MBA in finance pursuing from JECRC Jaipur. So two years of experience in an accountant firm. He's worked in the oil industry as well as computer skills. It says basic computer knowledge. That's how I got on his computer. He had basic knowledge. <laughs> and then uh, he has a certificate in accounting uh, technicians, a CAT. So this guy's got good experience where he could work at other places, in my opinion. And this is what I'm saying. These scammers are trying to bring in these really well-spoken, well-meaning people that want jobs and want to make a lot of money. And I've heard stories where they will kind of get them under this contract where they owe money back and you have to work this time off on your contract or else you're in trouble. I've got a 25000 a uh, person list right now that the scammer is sending emails and doing phone calls to. They're buying very specific lists, whether it's Amazon lists or banking. And this one's 10,000 phone numbers and addresses and names that they're sending out. They've got a second tab on here. It says 10K-2. It's the same type of information. And they've got 5K. So this whole list is 25,000 uh, different potential victims that they could be reaching out to. We could be reaching out to and making sure that they have been scammed. They also have people working at some of these companies in the United States that are exfiltrating the data and sending it to them. So they have really, really good information. Your name might be on that list, so it's important that I get it. I'm here at SP office, you know, giving you guys an update really quick. Um, but that previous video is blowing up. That's a call center we gathered Intel on and they have been raided. Now it's not because of that video, but this intel is gathered in advance. It'd be silly for us to share it with YouTube first. This goes to the authorities. And if the CID in India want to coordinate with us, then they do. The unfortunate part is that they raided the fifth floor and a technician was the fall guy. None of the big names, Christian Indu, Samar Bachi, or the owner, uh, I think it's Rajesh Goinka, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. None of these guys were captured. Typical arrest, but not the right guys. Okay which is sad and it sucks for us as well. We're just a group of small YouTubers. These are international criminals. So the rules are, and regulations are totally different. Um, but that being said, I hope you guys understand what we try to do. We try to educate you, show you scammers how they do it. We help victims, give victims their money back. We also expose scammers, which the beautiful thing about exposing scammers is that our previous video, someone said, hey, 
off the building, the floor, the name. I know who this guy is. So now we have a visual of uh, Christian Indu. I'm going to put it up here. Not going to blur it. Screw that guy. If it's blurred by the time you see this, YouTube just said, nah, it's not happening. Also, you can see right here, this is the VRM Business Services. This is the company that just continues to cover up and scam behind the scenes and get away with it. But anyhow, we appreciate the support and we'll keep going after scammers. Let's get back into it. Something weird's going on on my screen. It just all exited out. What's your favorite anime? I'm like a really big Anime fan. I really like Naruto. Is that your favorite? Have you ever watched Naruto anime? Is anyone there? Hello? Yeah, hello? Whoever the f*** are you, okay? Do not mess with us, by the way. Oh, is this right? Tushar? Is this Tushar? Yeah. This is Tushar? Right. Hey, I have your files, Tushar. Do you like anime as well? What's your favorite anime, Tushar? Your mother's pussy. Uh, tell me, Tushar. Hey, uh, I have your uh, pay TM that you have. Uh -huh. it's, very, it's very pretty. And then that's a cool background that you have on your computer too. So Tushar. Okay. Um, okay. So how is it going over there? It's 2.31 a.m., Tushar? <laughs> Fuck you, bro. You have Why? nothing. Why? What's wrong? You have nothing. Oh, I have nothing. You have nothing. Mm -hmm. Who's Hemant? Who is Hemant? Sorry? Who's Hemant? Hemant? Yeah. Hemant? Yeah. Hemant is the person who f your mom every is that, day. Is that where you got your leads from? You bought them from him? <laughs> Hemant? Leads? You, you know nothing. You I know, uh, I know nothing, mom. huh? I know nothing, huh? <laughs> I'll cut you here. Oh, oh, you're going to call me a chutia, Randy Kalatka, huh? You want to talk to me in your language? I understand. And Samja, what else do you have for me? You got my, anything else? Do you have anything else? A second. Yeah, I have one. What a second. Do you have anything else you want to say? Bulu <laughs> Kapata? <laughs> you didn't like that. A little file deletion! We have some file deletion. We have his leads. We were on his computer. He knew we were on his computer. He's got a we, uh, we prefer Paytm. He's got his little barcode scan thing. That's him goodies. right there. That's Tashar. Got some goodies. So we can look him up. <clears throat> oh, yes. And that's you, me. I'm going to call him again just because. Thank you for calling. You're speaking with Justin. How can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for Tashar. Is he still there? Whom you want to talk to? Uh, Tashar Rator. Uh, uh, let me just go ahead and call out his name. Give yep. me like one sec. Yep. Jaldi Caro. Jaldi. No, they didn't like that. <laughs> I was watching it on there. Oh, you I saw the like doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> 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 Ball, ball, ball. Sorry? I, I wanted to talk to Tushar, please. Jaldi Caro. Tell him it's Baruch. Who is Shar? Tushar. Tushar? Yeah, I need to talk to Tushar. Tushar? Yeah, this is Pierogi. Tushar? And I was just on Tushar's computer Pierogi. through any desk, and I was messing with his anime video files he had on his computer, on his D drive. He has a bunch of anime on there. Which, that doesn't seem, it seems like a corporate laptop. You guys are using laptops. I know it's like 2, what, 40 right now? 2.33? 2.43? And you guys, he's got a bunch of anime on his computer. And you might need to get it off of there. I don't know if that's allowed in the corporate environment. Where are you from, sir? I am like, uh, from your dreams. How do you know? Do you know what is the time? Do you know what is the time right now here? Yeah, in, in New Delhi, it's uh, 2, what is it? 2.33 or 2.43 in New Delhi? I'm not just making this up off of the top of my head. I literally was just on your computers. Can I please talk to Tushar? Jaldi Caro. Tushar? Yes, I know he's there. There, there is no Tushar here, okay? Oh my gosh. Yes, there is. I'm looking at his photo right now. Sorry? I, he, has, he uses Paytm. I'm looking at his Paytm. I'm looking at his Paytm wallet that you guys use to steal from people. In his backgrounds on his computer. How do you know? He likes Norado. You know is that what the anime in Norado? Yeah, you gotta, you know. He likes Norado. And he's got a white... What is that, a Charger or is that a Mustang? It says Yeti 16 as one of his backgrounds. Sir, it, sir. Yes, it's sir, not sir, it's pierogi. Or you can sir, say. Sir. Yes. 
sir, can you listen to me yes, for I two can. minutes? Yes, 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 yes. This is Amazon and you just go better you f yourself. This okay? is not no Amazon. I want to talk to, right? it's not Amazon. <laughs> It's not Amazon. Stop it. Put not, uh, put freaking Tushar on. I was about to say put Narado on. <laughs> put Tushar on. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go through a couple photos and videos of Tushar that we found. And one thing I will say is that scammers, they absolutely hate when we do this because we're exposing them and they'll come in and they've reported us a bunch of times too for doing this. So we will have a blur on their faces and sometimes a real minimal or no blur, which that's our way of getting back at them a little bit uh, for being criminals and stealing from grandma and grandpa. And that's the other point I want to make is that these guys, like they want to show everyone that they're so cool and tough, shooting guns, driving cars and bikes around, but really they're just criminals and they're just stealing from innocent people. So that's why we're going to expose them. One last cherry on top that we found was Hamant's birthday is coming up. So for that, we wanted to call him up. We have two of his phone numbers and his email address. So we're going to give him a ring and uh, wish him a happy birthday. Nope. All right. That one, that did not go through. So I'm just going to send him an email and wish him a happy birthday. Dear Hamant, I was on Tashar's computer the other day and I ran across some very interesting files of this. One of them was your resume attached. I wanted to let you know that you need to stop scamming people and that there are those who are watching your call center and exposing the bad work that you do. Happy birthday, scammer payback. Hamant, the email's been sent. Don't scam anyone anymore. Same with you, Tashar. I appreciate y'all watching this. This has been Perug with Scammer Payback saying, don't get scammed.